All right, so here is the fifth position. Let's look at what that would look like in the C scale. Here's our recap. Let's do it. Fifth position. So we would start with the C chord in our very first position. Then we had the A chord shape, but we moved it up into the next position, which would start from the second position, the second four frets of the guitar. Then we've got this new one, which would cover from the fifth fret up to the eighth fret. So that shape would look like a G chord that's brought all the way up, like if you had a capo and clamped it on the fifth fret. So let's run through these notes. From the fifth fret, you'll see um, you have the that G chord shape makes these notes up here. Now, I'm just gonna make a quick edit. This note here is actually a C note, not a G note. All right, so here is our quick overview of the different charts labeling the finger numbers, one, two, three, four, the letters, the ABCs, the solfege names, the do, re, mi's, and the interval numbers, the numbers of the scale. Here we go. Finger numbers. Finger one, finger three, finger four. That was fret five, seven, and eight. The next string, finger one, finger three, finger four. The next string, finger one, and finger three. Next string, finger one. We bring that back down to the fourth fret. So our pointer finger, instead of being on the on the fifth fret, it's on the fourth fret. So third string, finger one, two, four, up a string, up a fret. Starting from the fifth fret, first finger, second finger, fourth finger, small string, first finger, third finger, fourth finger. So the color th theory is that the blue is in the chord, it sounds harmonious. The green is a pentatonic, it's two frets away, it sounds kind of pretty, but unresolved. The orange notes, they sound pretty tense. They're what we call the, the leading tone or the suspended fourth. Okay, let's do the letters. Fifth fret, A, seventh, B, A, C, D, E, F, G, A. Now you can go up two frets to the B or back down to the B. The same note is in two different places. Let's go down, B, C, D. Next string, E, F, G. Next string, A, B, C. Let's do the solfege. Starting from the big string, we'll say La, Ti, Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, La, and then the T would be back. Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, La, Ti, Do. Now, counting the numbers, the one is the home base of the key. That's the C note, but we would call it the first note. We're gonna count our alphabetical letters in the key of C. So this would be six on the fifth fret, the sixth note of the scale, seventh note of the scale, back to the first, the home base, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, Six, seven, eight. Super fast run through. Each of those should be broken down into string segments um, and looped forwards and backwards like five times to build muscle memory and then uh, improvise different ways. So you really need to have uh, a good breakdown strategy. This is just a super comprehensive overview of, of each chart. Uh, for a better breakdown, reach out to me on email, lancecarguitar at gmail.com, and we can talk about how we can help you reach your goals and dreams with guitar tutoring. All right, thanks, guys. Have a great week. Bye.